people are angry because Ubisoft secretly nerfed a Helix Store armor set without telling anyone and while also not doing it for the newer sets. And I totally get that, although I just want every armor set to be equal. I also want to go over another secret change from the most recent update, so a like on the video would of course really help me out. And let's go. Every week I do a Helix credit pack giveaway for 2300 credits. It's a way for me to give you one of the armor sets so you don't have to pay for it yourself. And you can enter via the link in the pinned comment. And these giveaways are for subscribers of the channel only. I'll reach out to the winner via the email. In a recent video I talked about some major changes that I think need to happen in Valhalla and how the priority to push new store items doesn't seem right when the game still has many issues that are stopping people from finishing certain parts. Since then they did slow down on those item packs instead of the every other week release schedule but other issues like runes that don't add up correctly or that you can't see more than 100 runes in the inventory menu Will we ever see major runes based on new perks that are added later? Why the heck are the contracts the same every week, etc, etc. But these are problems that are like bugs that will likely be fixed in the future. A bigger issue I talked about in that video is regarding the balance and that this is simply not a bug, but this seems to be intentional. And that's of course that Helix items are sometimes significantly better than regular gear you find in the game. And we saw that thanks to higher attack bonuses when comparing to items. But also because of the major or diamond runes, however you want to call them, that for regular gear items only can appear on the chest, but for Helix store items can appear on every gear piece. And these runes are better, increasing your armor when stunning an enemy or giving you speed when surrounded by more than two enemies or the Fane rune increases speed after parrying. And yes the Fane armor set is of course built around doing a parry so you're already doing that and now with this rune you get an extra effect on top of it. And being able to put major runes on multiple gear pieces is pretty nice like these bonuses are more significant than the small bit of extra health or melee resistance you get from a regular rune. So the Einaryar set first had a major rune slot on every gear piece as you see in footage from before the update but now after the update we only see a major rune slot on the chest and the other major rune slots are changed for regular rune slots. And this was actually already the case for the launch Helix Store item sets as well like the Valkyrie set, the Huldu Folk set and the Draugr set. They already only had one major rune slot on the chest. While newer ones like the Hell's Damnation set that launched after the Einar set and then the Helix sets that launched after the Hell's Damnation set, so the Niflheim set and the Gothic pack still have major runes. And people are angry about this. I saw many comments talking about this change on Reddit. We have Outworlder sharing his thoughts and on the official forums people are discussing this too. And I totally get it. If you buy something with Helix credits or Opal and then Ubisoft nerfs it out of the blue without explaining or telling us what is going on, then that of course really sucks. But the biggest problem is that other Helix items and even that new one that is already leaked and will be coming later still has major runes on every piece. Like then I totally get that people are speculating that they nerfed old gear sets so you have to buy new ones. Like it's a really bad luck. But I would like to take a step back though and argued that this should have never been possible in the first place. There should have never been a difference between Helix and regular armor sets. Like, what were they thinking? Obviously, I can think of a reason to sell people more stuff, but that's obviously not okay. Like, I hope to play devil's advocate here that they are trying to make all the armor sets equal and start it with the Einar set and we'll do the rest of the Helix sets immediately in the next update. Although, I do get that this kind of sounds like wishful thinking, because why only change the oldest Helix set now and not the newer ones? So I totally get why people are thinking of the worst possible reasons because there's no comment from Ubisoft on this whatsoever and I get why they cannot react to everything that is going on but this difference because people now spend extra money on these items and then you are changing what they bought without a word. It's also incredible that they still haven't fixed the premium starter pack items with the recent updates. I spent $30 on this and a month later it still isn't fixed. 
That's pretty crazy. My goal here on the channel is to keep you up to date on everything coming to Valhalla. So including the Helix items that at one point can also of course be earned for Opal. And I will keep talking about it, but I will never tell you to buy anything. Never did. And right now I would say let's stop buying stuff until they get their act together. Until we know what the heck is going on in this game. Until they break their silence. Because... They've been pretty scummy. I, I don't like it. I want to see it changed. I want Ubisoft to do better. I think it's important to criticize them because they got a super awesome game here. I'm in love. I want to keep playing it. So it sucks to see these stupid things happen. And I'll of course keep you up to date here and report back when we know more. And also with the recent update, they secretly removed the latest XP and ingot farms. You might have seen my video on it where I went to specific locations and there you would find a special enemy with a yellow dot above his head. And then killing them would give you a carbon, nickel or tungsten ingot depending on the region you are in. And one of those locations was in Grantbridge Shire for example over here. And you see footage here from before the update where I at one point saw this sort of lieutenant enemy and now by going to this camp after the updates this enemy is not there anymore so ubisoft completely removed these targets that could give you an extra carbon nickel or tungsten ingots like also in the camp in lincolnshire he is not there like i really looked for him killed all the other targets as well but no luck and also that special bandit that had the tungsten in yorkshire is not there anymore and a nice part was of course as well that you would get 450 or 670 75 XP from killing these targets with an assassination and you could do this over and over again by blowing their body up with the assassin's cantrip skill. Then of course carry them and then throw them in the air and hit them with a spear so then the explosion would go off and the enemy would disappear. Now reloading that safe would then have the enemy spawn again and then you could just kill him and do it over and over again. But yeah apart from removing these specific gold dot enemies it seems like Ubisoft also removed the blow up enemy tactic altogether. Because I found a big guy with a gold dot after the update over here on the map at the blockade in Hampton Shire. So I killed him and got the 450 XP. So that still seems to work. If you find these enemies while they are limited you still get the nice amount of XP. But then I tried to blow them up and after making a save and then reloading that save the character did not respawn sadly. So rest in peace pretty fun tactic but obviously it's removed and i totally get why ubisoft removes these tactics by the way because it breaks the regular progression although you could argue that their xp booster and money booster does as well no but i still think it's different than changing stuff for one paid item but not for the other and not fixing stuff that you are selling that people paid money for. So hopefully they get it together and start communicating so I can focus on more fun content. Like there are some secrets found that are very interesting that I can't wait to talk about. But felt that this was necessary as well. So of course subscribe for way more Valhalla content to be up to date on everything. A like on the video would of course really help me out. And at the end of every Valhalla video we look at pictures. You can send us via the Valhalla Raptor hashtag on Twitter or via the pictures channel on Discord. And you can enter the Discord via the link in the pinned comment and then accept the rules to be able to post. And I read some feedback in the comments that people were missing some action shots mm. during during this. So uh, yeah, I totally hear you, totally hear you. So uh, let's start with... The first action shot right here, Avor beheaded the enemy and Don At created this comical composition. I laughed at this picture while spotting it on Discord. It feels less serious, but still brutal with the blood spatters around the neck. Skull to the action comedy. Yeah, the, the guy's winking or something. Winking <laughs> to the camera. I, I dig it as well. Next up, M. Ricky Zag took the shot of Eivor dressed as the Mary Lewitt, ready to assassinate this clueless soldier. You can get this, of course, during the questline in Gloucester Shire. Love the facial expression of the enemy here and Eivor's arm position prepared to strike. Really cool. Yeah, he's like, oh no! <laughs> I'm dying. Oh no, ready to die. And finally, we've got a winner. The Soviet Mimo took this victorious shot of Eivor aiming a sword at the head of the legendary bear of the blue waters. Like the setting and composition here of the bear trying to escape through the water, but too late for Eivor's final strike. Also, it looks like he tried to kill it with arrows too, stuck in the fur. Great job. Yeah, really cool. And 
you said more action shots. Well, I think you delivered. So, uh, I hope so. <laughs> Let us know in the comments, of course, what you think. And thanks for sending your shots. Of course, subscribe for way more Valhalla content. Check out our recent video on an armor set that was leaked. And for now, we will speak to you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.